Kate Middleton uses parenting trick to appear more relatable and likable. Kate Middleton and Prince William have three children, but what parenting techniques do they use to bring them up in the spotlight? Kate Middleton and Prince William have had three children since they tied the knot in 2011. Prince George is seven, Princess Charlotte is six, while Prince Louis is three. An expert has shared an insight into the parenting techniques that the royal couple use. The most recent appearance from the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge came on Sunday, when the royal couple watched the UEFA Euro 2020 Championship final in Wembley. Prince George also made an appearance, taking the middle seat between his parents. While the royal children's lives are kept quite private, they are sometimes seen out and about for special occasions. Speaking to Express.co.uk, Leon Hady of Guide Education explained that children are taught through behavior modeling. He said, if Kate demonstrates independence in raising her children, that attitude will filter down to their children who will see independence as the best way to get things done. Prince William and Kate have both been known to encourage their children's independence on several occasions. The couple have also been said to implement more modern techniques into their parenting such as showing their affection in public, which was once frowned upon in the royal family. However, the expert has explained that modern parenting is a myth in many ways. He said, there are ideas of competition obsession and focusing on a specific type of success that some modern parents go for, but this is just one way to parent. Modern parenting, if such a thing exists, focuses on an individual or two raising a child at every stage rather than hundreds of thousands of years of parenting being based around children being raised by communities and villages as much as by the two biological parents. One traditional parenting technique that the couple did decide to ditch when Prince George was born back in 2013 was the hiring of a team of staff to help out. Instead, the family use one nanny, Maria Teresa Barallo, who is often spotted with the royal children. Leon explained that they may have done this to appear more relatable. He said, there is far less need for people's support thanks to technological advancements and also keep in mind that many royal families are making conscious moves to relate more to the people in their countries or those deemed as subjects. They do this in order to be relatable, likable and have relevance. Nowadays royal families must be, to a point, engaging with life in the same way typical mothers and fathers in their countries do. They cannot afford to be too far removed from the norm, at least not with an issue such as parenting that is very much in the public eye. When watching the Euro 2020 final on Sunday evening, William and Kate can be seen bending down to speak to Prince George on several occasions. The couple also regularly do this when speaking to their other children, Charlotte and Louis.
Leon explained that this is very important to build trust. He added, being close, at eye level, speaking with a reassuring tone creates a feeling of understanding and closeness that assures a child and make them feel connected better to the parent. Very good, supportive practice. 